Hello everybody, this is Game Scott, and we're playing some Super Mario Maker 2. And what do you know? This is one of those rare YouTube exclusive things. Not doing it on Twitch, not streaming, um, not being lazy, not being lazy, but, you know, doubling up, you know. Stream something on Twitch, then export it over to YouTube. This is strictly for YouTube. And any, any uh, Switch content is probably going to be that, uh, just because my computer is not great, and OBS and my computer probably want to explode if I try to stream. I've tried it a couple times, but it's still not the best. And so, I don't know. But anyway, the Super Mario Maker 2 kind of ended up being a perfect storm, because a brand new update came out, as you all probably aware, and... I just finished Persona 5 Royal, so like, it was a perfect time to kind of get back up and start playing Mario Maker 2. So this first video, in other videos I'm gonna I'm gonna showcase and play other levels, of course. But this first video I want to showcase um, my world and levels that I'm at least proud of. <laughs> there are a few I have that are just garbage. And there's still a couple that are probably not the best. Um, I have only one world uploaded of my super world. I don't want to upload an addition to it, like the second world, until I have the whole thing filled out. Um, so I'll show you my world, and then show you other two levels if anyone... There's my ID... If you want to go check it out, it's FD3, 3V3, HGF. Alright. So I'll show you my world, then I have two new levels that I've made that are going to be in the second world. But again, I want all five levels ready to be put into the world before I uh, upload an updated version. So right now, the world, my super world, and my profile is just this World. Only one world. So the first level, I like to think is my easiest level, or at least it's my easiest well done level, because I do have an optional level if you saw that. That level is like, you know, I'm somewhat proud of it, but it's not really great at all. But I'll leave it up a little bit. I do have, I think, two or three levels that, uh,. I have created and were uploaded at one point, but I'm just like, you know what? These are bad. <laughs> anyway, this level is called Bouncy House. It's in the, the new Super Mario style. It's all fresh and stuff. And really, it's just a quick level, but features a lot of bouncing and uh, wall climbing, wall bouncing, wall jumping, that's it. So this really shouldn't be as hard or as long as I'm making it. I might lose my mushroom here, but that's kind of... That's why I gave you a mushroom. You can't make that jump without landing on the spike, by the way. Um, and then here, I just got three little stages. If there were one thing I would fix about this level, um, but I'm too lazy to re-clear it again, even though it's really not hard, is you get a mushroom whenever you get the checkpoint. But if you die, there's no way to get a mushroom. So if there were a way, I would put a mushroom in, like, a question mark block instead of the phone. And then at the end of each of these quote-unquote trials of wall bouncing, you get a bunch of coins. First one, you get uh, just a block's worth, I think. Probably follow the arrows. Yeah, the first and the second one, you get 30 coins, and over there on the last stage, you get 50. It's just a nice, short and sweet level. A couple, you know, trials of wall jumping. And get the keys to unlock the door. This can be a little tricky. Cheese it a little bit. If you want to kill them, there's definitely, you can take your time and kill each of them and make your life easier. That's perfectly fine. Um, but you get your key. And then you go to this last stage, which will lead you to just the end. 
This one is a little bit tricky to do if you want to do left and right. You could do the lazy jump, which is what I'm doing. But if you're, you gotta be real fast on your feet to do something like that. So I'm just doing the lazy jump to get up there. I might make that path just a little bit wider as well, if I were to change anything. But you go to the door, you go in the pipe. And you're done. Alright. So that's my bird's level bouncy house. Lots of bouncing, lots of wall jumping. Nice, short, and sweet level. So that's the first level people see, and then it all goes downhill from there. <laughs> I'll show you the optional level again. This one is like, you know, okay. This is one of the first levels I made. Um, it's just called something. Bullet, bouncy bullet bills. I like bouncing, apparently. But yeah, this level's not great. <laughs> You do some stuff, you die. Except not really. You're not supposed to die there. Oh. I saved it. And then I jumped into death. Yeah, you'll see, this isn't even the bad part. Like, this screen's okay. But then once you get... There's not enough space. Like, between bullet build sections. And so it just looks really messy. Um, if you do it all in one go. Because you'll get, like, 8,000 bullet builds on the same screen. And it, it, there's a lot of easy ways to cheese the level as well. By no means do you have to bounce on every bullet bill or utilize even every cannon. And so see, this is what I'm talking about. Can, the screen can just get very messy if you don't really wait. And the description is like, hey, maybe use a little bit of patience and wait. But no one wants to do that. <sighs> but you see, that's also a knife short and three level, but it's just really not that great. So see, there, you don't even have to bounce off a bullet bill to get up here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was dead like four jumps ago. And was just surprised when that didn't happen. Oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> boy, oh boy. We're gonna die my levels, obviously. Especially when they're not really that well designed. Again, even my current levels, I'm hoping they're at least better designed. Okay, just just just, just fall. That's a good idea. Who knows how long this video is gonna be? I'm also playing with the uh the make your own switch controller, like the, the little the controller that came with the switch. You just slide your joy cons into it. Okay, yeah. see like I don't know what to do there. If you're not patient and let other bullet bills pass, you just kinda of dead. Um, and usually I just play this handheld, so it's a little bit different feeling for me, which is weird. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <sighs> oh goodness. Yeah, this level's not hard. I'm just being bad. Maybe I should stand here. No, I can't stand here, because then the bullet bills are gonna... ...go the other way. Alright, let all the other bullet bills pass. And then you just go, bloop, bloop, boom. Easy, first try. Oh yeah, Mario time! Alright, so on my first, on the first world of my super world, that level's optional. Um, but if you do it, then you get a little bonus stage up here. Alright, 
I forget what one it is. We're not going to check because it's really good. It, you get extra ones. Alright, so that level's optional just because I'm not a huge fan of it, but I'll, I'll keep it in existence, unlike some of my other levels. Alright, and so far that's my only optional level. Everything else is going to be, you know, on the path. Winnie Winter Title. This is when I couldn't come up with a title, but it's uh, winter themed. So there you go. This one, you just go fast, trust the level, you're not gonna die. Except right here, you got a couple jumps you do have to make. And this level's really short, really fast. You only got a 60 second timer, which is uh, plenty of time. It does not take 60 seconds, but it gives you a little bit of buffer time in case you screw this up. You need a reset door. But still, probably only got 45 seconds to do it. You gotta be careful not to slide off the ice before going in the door. A couple of secret one-ups over here. And boom! So that one's real nice, short, and sweet. Just a fun little thing I made. That might have been my second or third level I made. But it's not too shabby. That, uh, that obstacle at the end where you have to jump up the, uh, the falling platforms while changing direction in that momentum shift that is a little bit tougher than it might look. So you even saw it took me, you know, a couple tries. Uh, sky spinning. This is, am I in the sky? Heck yeah, I am. Oh boy. Gravity threw me off. I just made a, a, a kind of similar level to this, but in low grav, so the regular gravity uh, threw me off for a bit. Just because I did, I played that a bunch lately, and had to do a bunch of testing and clearing it took a bit. I don't even know why all those are there. If you just land on like this first thing and let all the other thwomps go, you're fine. <laughs> you don't want to just spin jump as the thwomp folly descends off screen. Uh, this level has no checkpoint. I think it's one of the only levels that doesn't have a checkpoint. If I were to go back, would I add one in? Eh, probably not. It's pretty short. All the obstacles are, and stuff are relatively easy, I'd like to think. Because again, this one is not really well designed here, because you can just do this. Land on the first one, jump up, get the thwomp. Woo! Ow! So see, these last two, I think the first one you can do a full jump, but the last two, even the second to last one, you might be able to get away with a full jump, I'm not sure, I'm not going to test it though. Um, but the last jump for sure, you have to do some sort of mid jump. You can't get away with just letting a standard Z jump, you can't do a full send. You gotta do it somewhere in the middle, a light button press. So, got a little bit of a heartbeat there. Oh! I thought I was pressing the button. The controller is weird. It's different. It's not too different, to be honest. But it's still weird. My hands are closer together than they are when I'm playing handheld. Than when I'm playing handheld. I got a big Nintendo Switch screen in the middle. Here, I just got nothing. regular kind of standard control. I still don't have a pro controller. I don't really have any interest in getting one. I've heard a lot of- OH MY- I don't even know what that was. I, I have no excuse. Uh, I haven't heard that many great things about it. Like, there's a lot of- Oh, well, no, that's Joy-Con drift. But I don't know. I still heard, like, it's not that great. <laughs> and Joy-Con- Drift has not really set in that much, like my Joy-Cons are fine. So that's nice. Yeah, 
I'll move a little bit to the right there, just so you don't hit the spike. I actually jump up this time. Alright, you can go. Oh! Jeez, oh man. <clears throat> so again, I don't think this is the hardest level. I don't really think that I'm dying there. I would need a checkpoint. This is pretty short. Now in my new World 2 levels, that is not existing yet, uh, they have checkpoints. I think... I'm trying to remember what my castle level is for World 1. Can't remember at the moment. We'll see, though. Right after this try. Because we're getting it this try, if you didn't know. Whoop. Whoop. Oh, I told you. I told you. Let's get it this try. Easy. And that is sky spinning, where you spin in the sky. Very creative. You can get this in under 30 seconds, too, which is apparently what the uh, world record dude has. Right, then you get a pipe, you get a bonus level and all that stuff. Cool. And then you go to the castle level, which I don't think is in a ca All the four trials, of course. This is a goodie. It is, the level is what the name says, it's four trials. So you hit these P-blocks. The first trial is pretty easy. These aren't, these aren't the easiest just because those spikes have terrible hitboxes. But the first two trials are relatively easy. Oh, just ran into that one. You hardly even need the on-off switches, but this just kind of shows you everything that the level's about. You're going to have some P-switches, you're going to have some on-switches. I blame playing not handheld, because <clears throat> I don't think ever in my life I've died like three times to this first obstacle in a row without passing it once. I like to do a little, oh my goodness gracious, dude. A little switch. If any of you saw that coming, good for you, because <laughs> I did not. I saw it as I was in midair, I was like, uh oh. You need some momentum for this, so you don't want to like necessarily kill your momentum, even though you have to shift to the left. <clears throat> you want some of your momentum to stay. And yeah, I like to do a little bit of a switch to the right just so I don't slide too far to the left and hit the spike. <clears throat> Alright, the second trial, you got this screen, which isn't too hard. You basically got two jumps you gotta do. That's the second one. <laughs> if you get through those two jumps, it shouldn't really be a problem. Because the timing is also very lenient. Okay, that's cool, just don't hit the switch. Nice. I like it. And then you, you, you run into the spike. Okay. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it shouldn't be this long. Yep. Felt that coming. I was like, this doesn't have it. It's not there. Da, 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 da. I blame not playing handheld. That's my excuse. If it's valid, I don't know. But that's what I'm going with. This is it. Oh, almost. <laughs> Didn't make that last jump. Whoop. And then you go here. This jump's not too bad. It's this jump you gotta watch out for. As long as you hit the switch, you should be fine. You're fine. If you want a little bonus 10 coins, you can optionally go there. And then you get the checkpoint. Do the last two trials. Probably
probably don't want to kick the P-Switch off. You want to just set it down nice and gentle. This one is super tough. Both of these second ones are tough because the timing is, 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 has to be perfect. So you go here, you hit the switches. Oh, not like that though, because I didn't hit the switch. Uh, I did have to update this level. I had it uploaded a long time ago, but I had to update it because there was a way you could cheese this screen and make the timing not an issue. The reason the timing is perfect is because the door is on coins. And so that's why this one is a lot more tougher. This third trial, the fourth trial as well, has a lot of... Ah, you gotta hit the thing. The fourth trial as well has a, some perfect timing. I think it might be a little bit more lenient than the third trial. But just barely. Just barely. But, you know, I like to do some... Uh, both the third and fourth are hard, for sure. But, uh, if the fourth trial is just a smidge more lenient, uh, I like to do harder obstacles towards the beginning, you know? I know this is halfway through the level, but, like, in the beginning of the level or right after a checkpoint, I like to put the harder stuff right towards the beginning so that way you, you don't have to make it through there again every time. I mean, you know, I still don't like the next sections to be super easy just because you got done with a difficult one. But, you know. Usually like to let you breathe. Be like, hey, you made it through here. Let's have maybe a slightly easier time. Oh, see, that's it. You gotta make that jump. There's not even a chance right here. Can I go back? <laughs> Get another P-switch? No. It usually doesn't take me this long to do the third trial, because we haven't even seen the fourth screen yet. But I'm feeling good. <sighs> See, that's another reason why it's tough. You can't slide too far into the spikes. You gotta hit the door. Perfect. Whenever I was updating the level to remove the cheese, I was like, should I be a little bit more forgiving and remove these spikes? I'm like, yeah. And see, I had it there. I was too afraid, too afraid of running too far to the right, and I wasn't far enough to get in the door. Because I was there, I was standing there for like a second. That time. I was too afraid of hitting the spike though. Oh, I, I never miss these switches. Again, stupid not playing handheld. That's what's doing it. That's gonna be too far. Should be good. And so what the cheese was on that last, uh, I can't go back through that door and show you. <laughs> there are coins now. Um, the spikes on that last on-off switch, there weren't, like, spikes above, and so you just, like, stand on that on-off switch and just go. Right here, perfect timing. And you also gotta make it through here. Oh! Oh. oh, probably want to hit the switch before the P switch comes out. So this row of spikes by this on-off switch was not there, and so you just kind of stand on it, and then go to the door, and miss that whole ending section of going to the left, hitting, standing on the coin platforms and going back to the door, you could just cheese it that way. So I put those in. So how I like to do this is you want to like be touching the little platform 
that you're about to jump onto, so you want to just, like, hit it and just barely get up there. So, like, kind of like those last couple Oh, and then you're good. You're good. After you do that, the fourth trial, you ascend to greatness, and you're good. Oh, there you go. And that is World 1. Alright. So again, that you, you saw that uh, that last trial as well. It's a little bit more perfect timing. I think it might be a little, just a teensy half a second more lenient than the third child. World clear, hooray. Also, what is with the the, the, the peach in, in this world maker? And especially when she's crying for help, it's like, look at that, look at that. Look at this. See this? Where is my cursor? That's what noise she's making. Anyway, I'll show you the world for world two. Because I have the, the layout made, I think it's pretty cool. Um. So this is the layout for World 2. I think it's pretty dope. Alright, you got the, the castle in the middle, which I feel, you know, probably, I don't know. Though I mean, there's definitely not nobody has done it, but I don't feel a whole lot of people. Are gonna put the castle in the middle. I was like, this is a cool idea. It's a four by seven grid. You get two two by fours on the edges, and just leave this the the castle right centralized. And so I think that's cool. Anyway, I'll show you my other two levels. All right, so that's world one. Those are the levels there. Uh, the last level I made, the seesaw spire. That's the second level that'll be in uh, world. Not the second. The fourth level, that'll be in World 2. Level before the castle. Space Spikes is going to be the first level in the world. Right. Because it's a, a space theme, so introduce you to the theme. Of course, we'll have it in, in space. Right. So this one is all Z-Jumps, or at least I'd recommend you do nothing but Z-Jump. And, like I was saying earlier, how I like to have the tough obstacles... Towards the beginning, that's like the tightest jump in the world. You don't want to fly off there. There are, there are, I mean, there's a lot of spike spinies and stuff that you have to do Z-jumps. But there may be a couple spots where you might be able to get away doing like a light jump. But I still recommend just doing nothing but Z-jumps for the whole time. <laughs> Alright, so this one is a full send, then you want to just a regular Z jump on that first spiny, we'll do it. You don't want to do a high jump or a mid jump, just, just let Mario do what he does best. And see this one, you need a perfect mid jump, but don't worry. After that, as long as you don't mess up the next jump, which is just a regular Z jump, you don't even need to do anything. Just let gravity take a hold of you. No, no, I lied. You do have to do a little bit more to get a checkpoint, but it's nothing too terrible. But if you get this jump, you're, you're, you're pretty close to getting a checkpoint. Get a couple more obstacles, but nothing too bad. <sighs> yep. Oh, that's it. And then you just lightly glide through that last jump. And here, I tease you a bit. I'm like, there's a checkpoint. You just got to get there. These shouldn't be too bad. Don't get too close to the flower. Their hitboxes can be a little eh. But you climb up. And then you go down. This isn't too bad. You get a little bit of a tire squeeze right there. But now you got your checkpoint. And then here, like I said, Z jumps. This is how I like to approach these. Not by dying, but by like hovering up in the middle and then coming back down. Because you can't just Z jump like this right through it. You gotta stay up, 
and come down. Not like that either, but y you see what I'm going for. You can see jump through the first two, just bloop, bloop. These second two conveyors are also faster than the first two, if you haven't noticed. So you gotta be a little bit ready for some super speed. That one I was afraid I was too high, so I slowed down. I don't know. Was I too high? Like I said, I don't know. But Hover up here for a second, then come back down. And then we got the last section here. You got a little bit of a thwomp riding section. So all these, except maybe the last one, you don't want to do a full, full send. But you should be able to get away with something like relatively close to a full send. You see, that was too high. I never, I never die on that spike, but it's nice to know it's possible. <laughs> Makes me feel good for putting it there. But yeah, everything on the top section, other than the last jump, is either just a regular Z jump, like you don't even need to press the button again, or it's a full Z jump, a high Z jump. Again, except maybe the last jump. So full send, full send, trying to get your speed back. You can full send through here. This might, yeah, that last jump, you might not want to exactly full send, but you can't just go with a regular Z jump because that won't be high enough. So I want to say that last jump is maybe a strong mid-jump. Like, not full power, but not like a light tap. A strong... A strong push. Not a hold, but a... Not a light tap, but a strong push. And I think that's what you need. So we go through here, just regular Z jumps. Oh. Timing can be a little bit tricky. I like to kind of go as soon as I land. But I think you might be able to get away with waiting like half a second. You don't want to wait too long, though. Oh, that one was close. Full send through here. Oh, and then get back. <laughs> That's the other thing. You got to make it back onto the thwomp. And then we got another one of these. Just two this time. Go through the pipe. And then, of course, I can't make life that easy. But this is relatively easy. You go there, full send, and you're good. Just a nice little, hey, one last obstacle. I can't make life that easy for you, you know? <clears throat> Just a nice little, hey, here's the thing. Can you make it? But again, you gotta be... I feel bad if anyone did die there. It, the intention is to not die there. <laughs> but just a little, you know, <laughs> I think I do that in this level as well. This is called Seesaw Spire. And this is the last level I've made. It's in a castle. So we got lots of... We got seesaws, obviously. And uh, we got some swirly fire boys. <laughs> oh, little jump through there. Oh, and then this, this, this thing is... It's touchy. Oh, two of them. But you want to be leaning for the first and third and kind of have it like perfectly balanced for the second and fourth. The second one is kind of easy to perfectly balance, but the fourth one, you're doing so much tilting, it's hard to get back there. Again, you don't want to be too high, you don't want to be too low, or too low too fast. <clears throat> That's a tough section. I did not have fun making. <laughs> and another thing about testing levels is, I'm not sure if it happened too much with this level, um, 
but on uh, whatever it was. The last level we just did. Space spikes. And then you also want to get off of there before it takes you back. And then just a little Z-jump through there and you get the checkpoint. Um, but the last level, um, the second time I made it to the checkpoint, I cleared the level. But then once I made it to the checkpoint, you, you do you have to clear the level with no checkpoints and then clear the level from each checkpoint. In my case, I only had one. But the second time I got to the checkpoint, the second oh boy, let me start. The second time I got to the first checkpoint when doing the full course clear, I finish a level. But then, once I had to clear it from the checkpoint, it took me like another 20, 25 minutes. I was like, why? <laughs> I, I did this the second time I made it with the whole course. And now when I start here, I can't do it. Anyway, this, this is the last part here. I haven't really talked too much about this level. But it took me a while to figure out how to get this platform to where it needed to be. So I, I realized I had to make that little contraption. But then this little path is the uh, last, last thing. I like to kind of have four different sections. That's kind of what these last few levels have been. I feel like there's four kind of distinct sections of obstacles. Like I'd maybe put this screen and, uh, not this screen, but this first section plus this next section coming up all in one section. And then that last little descension, I would say it's the last section. This is tough. You gotta, you gotta be leaning somehow. You don't want that to be perfectly balanced. <laughs> I'm on the first screen. I, I, I would make, I would say, uh, I would say those last little four spikes. That's their own section because it's, it's tough. <laughs> so even though it's like four little things you gotta do, I classify that as its own section. While here, there's a lot more you gotta do. But again, I don't think anything in this. Ascension is terribly difficult. Those fire things won't hit you unless you're very far. Uh, I think you'd have to be hitting the spikes to actually get hit by those fire. But a tight squeeze through that first one. You gotta jump over that. And this, you don't, you don't want to do that. Okay, I don't think any of these levels are too long. Ooh, see? You can die there. Gotta be a little bit faster there. I don't think these levels are too long to necess necessitate two checkpoints. And I think they're pretty evenly split, especially in difficulty. Like, even though that first section was maybe a little bit shorter than this section, they're both not too long. And you got that really tough part at the end of the first section before the checkpoint. Those four spikes Whoop. jump through there. Lean a little bit down but not too far down or else that happens. <clears throat> you don't want that to happen. Again, I'm sure people will be upset by that. They're like, here's a checkpoint. <clears throat> you just gotta get through this, this terrible spike hitbox. You can small jump through there. You can do a light jump, you don't have to Z jump. I just prefer Z jumps. Run up the ramp. Avoid the spikes. Avoid the fire. You go through here. You jump. Oh! You jump through that opening right at the last second. I guess that was just a bit too early, or maybe not positioned right, I'm not sure. Run up the ramp and jump. Okay, I'm not sure if you have to jump, but I jump to make sure I avoid the fire. Not 100% sure. You know. That's the thing when I test these levels, as long as I can make it through it, then it's good by me. <laughs> Maybe that's not the best ideology. Oh! 
Oh boy, I did that that time, okay. We also don't want to get carried back away by that. <laughs> That's no good. But whenever you're ready to go, hit that on off switch and descend. Whoop. And then this one. I wanted this last section to be a little bit difficult. This last jump here. But I just couldn't do it. And I'm not sure if it was because it wasn't possible. And again here I like to do a little fake out. But as long as you keep it perfectly balanced, you won't hit anything. You don't even have to duck. But I wanted that last jump at the end of the uh, descending section to be a little bit tougher. But I could never, I could never clear it. Again, I'm not sure if I just was mistiming it or if it was unclearable, so I had to keep revising that. Because I wanted it to be tough. I didn't want the whole thing to be too easy. So I think that end, that last little part of the ascension is still a little bit tough. I don't think I've died on it this, this time, but it is tougher than I made it look. Alright, so those are my seven levels I got so far. Uh, I do have... Oh no, maybe Bouncy Bolt, but that, this must have been the second level. Uh, Woody Winter title was my fourth. 1-1 one, one, Stroll in the Sky, or probably something. It's... bad. <laughs> it's not great, it's a standard level. Not meant to be kind of more difficult like my more recent levels. But it, it's a bad standard level. And Sky Snakes is terrible, it's one of those snake platforms that like, you know, snakes through the air you gotta it, it's a snake platform but it's just it's really bad like unless you see the path and you're the creator of the level i don't see reasonably how you'd expect to, to do it unless you got a lot of trial and error and it, it's it's just bad it's not like a uh the four trials or space bike something like trial and error where you know you just gotta do it it's also like memorization and that's no fun because you got memorized oh where's it going where's it going where's it going um but yeah so these two levels i uh were uploaded at one point but i was like you know what these are garbage koopa race i don't think is an actual i tried to do something like race a koopa at the top to like hit an on off switch at the end and like open up a a wall so you get through. I don't think I actually made this work, so that's why I didn't upload. This is not a finished level, so that's why this one isn't uploaded. Like you got here. Oh, okay, that's a snake block. My bad. What have I done with this level? I don't even remember making it. So yeah, you got a snake block. Obviously, you need the Koopa shell to be hanging out. What am I doing? <laughs> Alright. Oh, can you do that? Hold on. Can you do that? <laughs> Again, this level is not a made level. So you just need a lot of momentum. But yeah, so clearly I had never completed this level. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's worth looking into at some point. But yeah, I, I never finished this level. It was like, I don't know, this is super great. And so I'm just gonna not. <laughs> so those are my levels. And some rejected levels or uncompleted levels. I didn't show you the rejected ones. But uncompleted levels, you saw one of those. So once again, if you want my maker ID, I'm not gonna... Well, I could. Are they easily showable? No. Here's my maker ID, once again, if you want to check out levels. Play my world or whatever. Uh, FD33V3HGF. So there's my Mario Maker ID. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I'm hoping to do more Mario Maker 2 videos. And again, nothing more like this. Maybe once I get all of World 2 done, I might showcase those last three new levels that I make. Um, but if I do play more Mario Maker 2, it's going to be other people's levels. Uh, fun stuff. If you want to submit some, I'd be open to playing those. Otherwise, I might just scroll through hot courses or look up some levels on 
Mario Maker subreddits and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope to play more Mario Maker. Again, this is cool. YouTube exclusive. Who would have thought? <laughs> In 2020. Um, or at least my channel. I know a lot of people do YouTube exclusive. Um, but you know, usually, after I'm done playing this video, I'm going to play a super wacky woozy time. Um, are they by the same person? No, oh, they look very similar. <laughs> um, but you know, a lot of, or at least my channel, I do a lot of streaming on Twitch and I just highlight those and export it to YouTube. But this is going to be YouTube only. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. And this is going to be different from my future Super Mario Maker 2 levels. I'm not going to show off my stuff. I'm going to show off and play other people's stuff. And if that's you watching, that's wonderful. Please submit levels to me. I'll gladly, happily play them. Um, no Super Kaizo. Maybe Light Kaizo I could maybe learn, but no Super Kaizo. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. If you want to see more videos, this one, please subscribe as well. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Game Scott. I'll see you next time.